faster than light, a look at speed running. Video games have always been about challenge. We strive to beat our high scores. We conquer difficult bosses, but what about finishing the game itself as fast as possible? That's where the thrilling world of speed running comes in. Speed running is more than just playing a game quickly. It's about mastering it. It's about finding innovative ways to break the game's boundaries. Join me as we explore the history of speedrunning from its humble beginnings to its global phenomenon status. Level 1. Doom and the Dawn of Speedrunning. Our story begins in 1993 with a game called Doom, a title that would forever change the landscape of gaming. It was a groundbreaking first-person shooter that set new standards for the genre. Doom challenged players to fight their way through hordes of demons navigating complex levels filled with secrets. One player, Thomas Pilger, decided to do things differently. He wasn't just interested in beating the game, he wanted to master it. He wanted to complete the game as fast as possible, setting a new kind of challenge for himself. He meticulously studied Doom's levels, learning every nook and cranny. He discovered hidden paths and exploits that could shave precious seconds off his time. Finally, after countless hours of practice, he accomplished his goal. He recorded his playthrough and shared it with the world, not knowing the impact it would have. This was the first documented speedrun, a term that would soon become synonymous with gaming excellence. Pilger's achievement sparked a movement, inspiring others to take on the challenge. Gamers were captivated by the idea of pushing games to their limits finding new ways to play and compete. They began speedrunning other popular titles like Super Mario 64 and Quake, each game presenting its own unique challenges. The desire to share strategies and compete fueled the growth of this new community, bringing gamers together from around the world. Little did they know, this was just the beginning of a phenomenon that would continue to evolve and captivate gamers for decades to come. the digital Colosseum, early online communities. The internet was in its infancy in the early 90s, but it played a crucial role in the rise of speedrunning. Online forums and message boards became virtual gathering places. Speedrunners could connect with like-minded individuals. They shared strategies and techniques. They even challenged each other to beat each other's times. These early communities were essential. They fostered a sense of camaraderie and competition. Websites dedicated to specific games began to emerge. These websites served as repositories for speedrunning knowledge. They hosted leaderboards to track the fastest times. They provided platforms for runners to share their achievements. The speedrunning community was growing rapidly. A new era of competitive gaming was dawning. Speed Demos Archive The Library of Runs In 1998, a pivotal moment arrived with the creation of Speed Demos Archive, or SDA. Founded by Nolan Radix Flug, SDA aimed to be a central hub for speedrunning. It provided a platform for runners of all skill levels. SDA quickly gained recognition as the leading resource for speedrunning. It became the official record keeper for a wide range of games. SDA's impact on the speedrunning scene cannot be overstated. It brought structure and organization to the community. It established clear guidelines for submitting and verifying runs. SDA's commitment to accuracy and fairness earned it the trust and respect of speedrunners worldwide. With SDA as its foundation, speedrunning was poised for even greater heights. Any percent or 100% navigating speedrunning categories? As speedrunning matured, so did its complexity. What started as a simple race to the finish line evolved into a multifaceted competition with various goals and methods. Different goals and play styles emerged, each offering unique challenges and requiring different skills. This led to the creation of speedrunning categories, which helped to organize the community and provide clear objectives. These categories provided a framework for runners to compete within specific parameters, ensuring fair and exciting competition. One of the most well-known categories is Any Percent. This category is often the most accessible for newcomers. The goal of Any Percent is simple. Finish the game as fast as possible, regardless of completion percentage. This often involves using glitches to skip large portions of the game. Another popular category is 100%. This category is for those who love thoroughness and attention to detail. This category requires runners to complete all objectives and collect every item before finishing the game, making it a true test of endurance and knowledge. Other categories include glitchless, which prohibits the use of glitches, 
focusing on pure skill and game mechanics and low percent which challenges runners to finish the game with the lowest possible completion percentage, often requiring creative and unconventional strategies. The introduction of categories allowed speedrunners to specialize and compete in areas they found most interesting, fostering a diverse and vibrant community. It also added a new layer of depth and strategy to the hobby, making speedrunning more engaging and rewarding for both players and spectators alike. Games Done Quick Marathons for Speed and Charity. In the early 2010s, speedrunning experienced another surge in popularity. This was due in part to the rise of streaming platforms like Twitch and YouTube. Viewers were captivated by the skill and dedication of speedrunners. They marveled at the incredible feats being accomplished live on their screens. One organization played a significant role in bringing speedrunning to the mainstream Games Done Quick, or GDQ. GDQ hosts biannual charity marathons featuring some of the world's best speedrunners. These events are legendary. Runners showcase their skills on a global stage. They raise millions of dollars for charitable causes. GDQ has become a staple in the gaming community. It has introduced countless people to the world of speedrunning. It has cemented its place as a force for good in the world. Glitches and exploits. Bending the rules of the game. Speedrunning is about more than just playing a game well. It's a unique blend of skill, strategy, and deep knowledge of the game's mechanics. It's about understanding its inner workings. Speedrunners dive into the code, dissecting every line to find potential shortcuts. Speedrunners spend countless hours searching for glitches and exploits. They test, retest, and refine their techniques to shave off precious seconds. These can give them an edge in their runs. A single glitch can mean the difference between a world record and an average run. Glitches are unintentional errors in a game's code. They can be as simple as a misplaced character or as complex as a broken algorithm. They can have unexpected and often hilarious consequences. Characters might float, objects might behave unpredictably, adding an element of surprise. Exploits are techniques that take advantage of a game's mechanics in unintended ways. They require a deep understanding of the game's design. Some glitches allow runners to clip through walls or skip entire levels. These shortcuts can drastically reduce completion times. Others grant them infinite lives or invincibility. These powerful glitches can make seemingly impossible runs achievable. The use of glitches and exploits is a controversial topic within the speedrunning community. Opinions are divided. Some argue that they are a legitimate part of the hobby. They see it as a challenge to find and use these glitches effectively. They believe that finding and exploiting them is a testament to a runner's skill and creativity. It's a way to push the boundaries of what's possible. Others believe that they detract from the purity of the challenge. They argue that true skill lies in playing the game as intended. They prefer to see runs completed without the use of any exploits. To them, a flawless run is the ultimate demonstration of mastery. A global community, the people behind the controllers. Behind every impressive speed run is a dedicated individual. Speedrunners are a diverse group. They come from all walks of life, but they all share a common passion for gaming and pushing boundaries. The speedrunning community is incredibly welcoming and supportive. Veterans are always willing to share their knowledge with newcomers. Runners often collaborate to discover new strategies and optimize existing ones. The competitive spirit is strong within the community, but it's always respectful. Speedrunners understand that everyone is on their own journey. They celebrate each other's successes. They offer encouragement when things don't go as planned. This sense of camaraderie is one of the things that makes speedrunning so special. The future of speedrunning innovation and evolution. Speedrunning has come a long way since its humble beginnings. What started as a niche hobby has blossomed into a global phenomenon. As technology advances and new games are released, the future of speedrunning is brighter than ever. Virtual reality gaming presents a unique challenge for speedrunners. It requires a new level of physical dexterity and coordination. Augmented reality gaming, which blends the real world with digital elements, also offers exciting possibilities for speedrunning. As the lines between gaming and reality continue to blur, speedrunning is poised to evolve in ways we can only imagine. One thing is for sure, the speedrunning community will continue to surprise and amaze us with their creativity and skill. 
Conclusion, your turn to run. Speed running is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and determination. It's a celebration of gaming in all its forms. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a curious newcomer, there's a place for you in the world of speed running. So next time you pick up a controller, consider giving it a try. You might just discover a hidden talent for breaking games wide open. Good luck and happy running.